Okay, students, today we are working on experiment 20, which is the um, identification of aldehydes and ketones. And first off, we are starting with a bisulfite test. So in this schematic, I have a general ketone, and uh, we are uh, working with the compound sodium bisulfate, and we will hopefully make a uh, white precipitate salt. Okay, students, I'm going to add half a milliliter to my uh, test tubes here. I am adding uh, half a milliliter of sodium bisulfite solution, and um, I have pre-labeled my six test tubes of samples. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, start off by measuring, again, half a milliliter of sodium bisulfite reagent. So we have uh, here our uh, test tube set up with half a milliliter each of the sodium bisulfite reagent. We're going to start off with the sample acetone. And so I'm going to add two drops of acetone to my test tube. And we're going to add a stopper to my uh, test tube here. And we're going to shake it up, see if we get a precipitate. And I'll ask Lee to bring the camera a little closer so we can see if we start to get some precipitate. And we had some precipitate initially, but it kind of dissipated when I shook it up again. Let's see if we get anything. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll set this one aside. Let me add a couple more drops of acid down. Oh, okay, so yes, we do get some precipitate as we add the acetone, and I, I guess if we, as long as we don't shake it up too much, we will definitely we see some precipitate with the acetone sample. Let's move on to Hepta now. So I went ahead and added a couple extra drops for the heptanel sample. And we do see some precipitate starting to form. It's, it's a little bit oily, but we should see some whitish precipitate forming towards the top of the solution. And as I shake it, it the precipitate seems to increase in volume. All right. Next up, we're moving on to benzaldehyde. So I'm going to go ahead and add a few drops to that test tube. And let me go ahead and shake up the uh, test tube with the aldehyde. Oh yes, we're definitely getting a little bit of precipitate here on the walls of the test tube. And if you look closer to the bottom of the uh, test tube, we see a little bit of a double meniscus there. Benzaldehyde is very oily, so it seems to be trying to form a separate layer, but we still have some precipitate forming in the test tube. And if we go back to the acetone sample, the acetone sample is uh, definitely precipitating a whole lot more now that we've let it sit for a few moments. Okay. Next up, we will move on to the sample 3 pentanone. And let me open up my bottle of 3 pentanone. Okay, so I added about four drops of 3 pentanone. And looks like 3 pentanone isn't giving us anything just yet. It might be like acetone, we need to wait a few minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and stopper it and uh, see if we get anything in a few moments. Next up, we will have the compound 2-propanol. Now 2-propanol is not an aldehyde nor a ketone. 
This is a secondary alcohol. So let's see if uh, our bisulfite test can distinguish our secondary alcohol from our aldehydes and ketones. And so far it looks like we have uh, just a clear solution happening for 2-propanol. Okay, I'm going to stop for this one and uh, set it down, see if it does anything for us. Just to go back for a quick moment, 3-pentanone uh, seems to be still no precipitate, very clear. Okay. Last sample to try here is acetophenone, and acetophenone uh, has a ketone with one side a methyl group and the other side a benzene. And looks like we're getting kind of a oily layer similar to benzaldehyde, but don't see any precipitate yet, just some oil layer. I'm going to add a stopper here as well. And okay, let's take a look at our results so far. For the bisulfite test, we see that acetone is positive, heptanol is positive, benzaldehyde is positive. Wow, that really precipitated after we set it down. 3-pentanone is still clear. There is no uh, precipitate that is noticeable. 2-propanol uh, is clear. And lastly here, acetophenone seems to just be an oil. No precipitating occurring here. All right, so. This has been the bisulfite test for experiment 20.